In this screencast, we're going to look at editing camera work using Motion Bend. Here is a video clip that I have analysed. If we look at the right hand side of the screen, there are the global processing settings. Smoothing is the default, so the camera motion will be smooth and shakiness removed. Now we're going to tweak the intentional motion of the camera to remove scanning, hunting, or any other camera motion that can be distracting when watching the video. After analysing the video, there are two graphs underneath the video controls. The top graph represents the horizontal motion of the camera, and the bottom graph represents the vertical motion. Each graph is divided into a sequence of events. The thing to notice here is that each event cannot be changed without affecting the neighbouring events. So for example, for this event, the end position must be the start position of the following event. There are three types of event, and all event parameters are controlled over here in the local correction settings. The most basic type is none. No local correction will be applied, so there is only the global processing, so in this case, smoothing. A none type event has no parameters that can be changed apart from the start position, that allows us to make an offset to the motion. The second type of event is hold. With hold, the start and end positions are identical. And as you can see, hold keeps the motion static throughout the event. The default value for hold is set to the average of the smooth motion, but the start can be adjusted. If we click on Get, we will get the position of the smoothed motion at the current frame. So now the process motion is smooth for this pan, and the motion is held from the start of this event rather than the average. There is now a gap between the processed motion and the actual motion. We need to be wary of this because if there is a big gap, more border will be visible and that means there will need to be more cropping, zooming or completion when rendering the video. In general, it's best to try to avoid big gaps between the actual motion and the process motion. The final type of event is linear. Linear correction divides the motion into three sections, constant acceleration, constant velocity and constant deceleration. We can change the start and end positions there is a start velocity from the previous event, a number of frames to accelerate to the constant velocity section, and a number of frames to decelerate to the start velocity of the following event. Something to remember here is that the number of frames for acceleration and deceleration cannot be more than the number of frames in the event. For example, you can't have 80 frames of acceleration and 80 frames of deceleration for an event that is only 150 frames long. Another thing to note is that in this event, there are only three frames to accelerate from the start velocity to the constant velocity section. It's a very short time. If there were no frames of acceleration, then the correction would immediately jump to the constant velocity and the start velocity would have no effect. Now let's look at the camera work in this clip and try to improve it. First, I'm going to select a range of video to process. As I'm clicking on these events, the current frame slider jumps to the start frame of the event. This is convenient. There is a setting in Motion Bend Preferences to turn this feature on or off if you don't like it. Let's go back to the start. So we can see that the horizontal camera motion is a pan to the right, followed by a pan to the left, followed by hold at a static position, and followed by a pan to the right. And the vertical motion shows the camera moves down, then there's a bit of a wiggle, and it continues moving down. Then it holds at a static position. If we play that through, we can see it's a bit of a Z-shaped pan. On this screencast, the playback is a bit jerky because I'm capturing the screen, compressing and saving the video while I play back, and this computer is not very powerful. Let's go back to the start. 
I want to get rid of the Z shape as it's distracting. So I'm going to delete this event. And now we can see the previous event is a nice smooth pan before the hold. If we look at this event, it's starting with a velocity of zero following from the hold, and there are only 18 frames of acceleration. So I'm going to increase that to make the transition to motion a bit more smooth. Now I want to remove the wiggle. I'm going to delete that event. And now the motion is more smooth. And I'll increase the deceleration so that there is a slightly smoother transition to the hold event. Now if I play that back, the camera work is a bit nicer. Here's another clip I'm not so proud of. I was holding two cameras, one in each hand, and it was only afterwards I could see that the vertical motion had a bit of an annoying dip here. I'll play that back. Okay, we can fix this. First, I'm going to delete this event. And now I'll slide this event over and change the start position. I'm not deleting the dip completely, but I am making it much smoother. And I'll just go back to the start and play. If you need help with Motion Bend, then please check the help menu or visit our website at www.motionbend.com.